Hello my beautiful people, your 2023 tarot and astrology readings are up and out there for your purchasing pleasure. So they are the same price, I'm keeping the same price so that they are accessible for everybody. So you can get them for $4.99 a piece, which is like the price of a cup of coffee basically, or a sandwich, or probably, I don't even think you can get either of those now. Well, <laughs> thereabouts at this moment in time. So this year, I have included even more knowledge, even more wisdom for you to digest. So as part of those, you will get the numerology overview, the eclipse overview. That is a part that I'm not gonna be putting out on any of my other platforms. And it's really important that you see that because the way that the eclipse is full next year is there's some really juicy tidbits in there. On top of that, you will get the lunation section, which is all about your new moon, your full moon of the year of 2023 and the eclipses and how all of those are gonna be impacting your sign. On top of that, you will get the 12 month breakdown and this year, uh, the 12 month tarot breakdown. And on top of that, this year I've created a 19 plus, because they're about 19 pages or more, uh, plus page document of astrological knowledge and wisdom and how the biggest transits of the year are going to be hitting you in your sign. So I have literally, uh, by the way, that's downloadable and printable. So you can have it as like a reference guide for the year ahead. Um, I literally couldn't fit any more into these. We've also made the files smaller this year so that they're easier for you guys to download. Um, I've tried to think of absolutely everything. So you can get one for $4.99. You can get your big three, your sun, moon, and ascendant for $14.97. Uh, so you would select the two that you want and then at the cart, you add the third item so that you get your sun, moon, and rising. Or you can buy the bundle for $24.99, right? Look at that. And then you can download them and send them to all of your loved ones. With that said, I just wanna say a massive thank you for allowing me to, you know, from time to time sell you things. Obviously this is my business, it is how I do my work. So thank you so much for listening. If you wanna get those, you can do so on the link in the description box below. For those of you that do purchase and support my work, I thank you so deeply and humbly from my heart to yours. I really hope you have a wonderful 2023 and I really hope that you love them as much as I did creating them. Take care and then let's get to your week ahead taroscope. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. Thank you so much for being here. Your key to the week this week is the Judgment Card. Are you ready for massive change? Are you ready to rebirth yourself in some way, shape or form? And I kind of feel like for a lot of you, this is that, like maybe you are rededicating yourself to something. Maybe you are really starting to get that energy underneath you because it's like you can feel the big changes coming, but you're wanting to get ahead of them in some way, shape or form. The Judgment card is a card of huge change and I feel like for a lot of you this is like you're revamping yourself, whether this is your body, your image, your business, your job, your work, your studies. There's something about this week where it's like you know that you haven't given your best to it. <clears throat> So you're now having to, it's like you're digging really deep into, you know, like your stuff. Like, <laughs> you know, and we all have that, right? I don't care who you are, how, you know, petite or frail or whatever you are. Everyone has that deep hidden well within them of energy and power and magic that they can dig into. And maybe you've forgotten that of late. Maybe you've forgotten that you are a badass. Maybe you've forgotten that you are magical. Maybe you've forgotten that you have a hidden well of strength that you haven't really had to draw on recently. Um, with the advent of Pluto, you know, c going direct and coming is like literally within three, four degrees at this point of our sign. And so, you know, as this starts to happen and then we get to next year, you're gonna feel it, right? So you need to start preparing for this. And I think for a lot of you, this starts this week. You're digging into those parts of you or those hidden reserves of energy, strength, magic, and power that you just haven't del delved deep enough into of late. Uh, no pressure. For <laughs> you, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your actions and options this week, you've got the High Priestess. The High Priestess with the Judgment card is uh, can literally represent ancestor worship, ancestor practice, mediumship, all of the 
psychic and spiritual sciences and arts that have something to do with antiquity or that which has passed. You have the high priestess in your actions and options, which means a lot of what you're doing this week is likely to be behind the scenes. It also suggests that your own innate spiritual awareness and or psychic and intuitive faculties and abilities are gonna be a big part of the way that you move through this week. What it also suggests as well is that for some of you, you could be connecting to or with, um, and what's the word? like you could be connecting to or with uh, an intuitive uh, not an intuitive like an ancestor if you have an ancestor practice or you do ancestor worship this would be a good time to lean into it for those of you that have got loved ones that you know i mean they always watch over us but one that you have a particular connection to ask them for help ask them for messages because this week it's very likely that they will be sharing something with you so this could be absolutely amazing Finally, um, because it is the High Priestess, I almost want to say to you, like, this is a week where your own, like, where your own power in some way, shape or form is like, it's coming up trumps, where it's like, maybe you're shining it, right? Like, this is where you're polishing it and saying, you know what? Old friend, old self, old hidden power. I know I haven't used you in a while, but it's time. Um, for your communications and conversations, you've got the Five of Swords. So this is an old argument or dispute that is coming up this week. I'm really sorry to say um, this, you know, could happen in various different ways. But with that judgment card, this could be an old argument or dispute that comes up or comes up again. In Because remember with the judgment card, yes, it's a blast from the past, but it comes up in order for you to resolve it. So when the judgment card shows up and you have a blast from the past, you're being asked to resolve and to assimilate the lesson of whatever it is that was taking place for you. All right, so use this week to squash it. When it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, I would... Sorry, that's really distracted me. Um, when it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, like when it comes to your studies, this week I would really give yourself, um, not just a pep talk with your studies, but like this week, if you have to disagree with the status quo or you have to go against something and you're that only person standing out of line, be that person, all right? Like this is a week to, if you have to stand alone, this is a week to stand tall and proud. When it comes to those of you that are, um, ooh, come on brain. <laughs> For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be, again, if you've had a problem with a coworker, with a boss or a superior of some sort this week, and it's kind of like, you'll know that this is coming, right? Because your intuition is super powerful this week. When that happens, I would literally just allow yourself to kind of say, okay, you know what, this is coming up. And before it becomes a thing, I'm gonna squash it. This does suggest, you know, sometimes Aquarian people, one thing that we are masters of, Sometimes we can endure a lot and it's because it's like, you know what? I know what I could say and that's good enough for me. I'm not gonna say it, but I know what I could say. This may very well be one of those weeks where you are saying what you need to say or want to say, right? Um, when it comes to those of you that are, um, oh, come on brain. When it comes to those of you that are self-employed, business owners, entrepreneurs or solopreneurs, this may be an issue or a challenge that you've had with somebody previously in your business. And I kind of get the feeling a lot of you are aware that this is happening or aware of who the person is. So if you've had problems or issues and stuff like that, it might come up again, but this time you have a chance to really resolve that. For those of you that are, um, ooh, come on brain. For those of you that are, uh, retired and no longer working honestly this could be that you're going to war on somebody else's behalf so you could be fighting for somebody or maybe giving voice to somebody who hasn't maybe had their own voice heard or there's something that they want to say but it's like you can see that they keep getting cut off this is you standing up for somebody else i think for your love and relations you've got the six of cups beautiful right so for those of you that are single 
There is definitely a reconnection with a past lover, partner. Um, this could be a conversation. It could be that they reach out for you, to you via social media, uh, especially for those of you that maybe didn't part on good ways. It's very possible. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That's you and your partner um, taking the relationship back to when it was at its best, all right? So it's like you're getting, not getting back to the honeymoon period, but getting back to that part where it was mature, but it was also at its best. With this high priestess energy here as well, there is definitely a potential for pregnancy because the six of cups is that. Um, if you only have one child and you're looking to have more, this is definitely possible. For those of you that are single, it's not just that, you know, there's partners from the past coming back. There's more than that. There's a change in the love life that really reminds you of like, you know, I remember when I was younger, I had loads of prospects for dating. Now I have tumbleweeds. Um, <laughs> right? But, you, you know, you could be getting back to what you had before. For your money and materials, you have the Page of Swords. I love this. There are interviews, there are meetings, there's discussions around finances and resources. There's potentially disputes over money this week as well, so you're gonna to have to watch out for that. With the judgment card though, this is you clearing the decks for the best financial future that you can have at this energy level that you're at. And I think for a lot of you, you might be getting really real with yourself about what that actually is. And that's actually a good thing, right? Because it's like, if your energy around money stinks, your money's gonna stink, right? If your energy around money is funny, you're gonna get that same experience in the real world. So this could be a week where you really get clear on, ah, okay, actually my relationship to money at the moment is not very good, which is why it's like all over the place. That's what you're gonna be manifesting more of at this moment in time. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, I always see this card as two things. It's one, it's either your mind is so full that you're like, you're really restless. It's like, I can't sleep properly because my boy, I've got too much to do. Um, find a way to delegate this week when it comes to those of you uh, and then when it comes to uh, the other part of this it could literally be like your hands your fingers your upper extremities um, and then finally when it comes to your home and environment this especially because you've got the five of swords and you've got the judgment card this is things that are just it's like there's consistent problems and issues and it's like you know what when is this going to end probably gonna be about another six weeks. But after that, it's all wrapped up. I think both of the eclipses as well will probably do this as well. Um, so yeah, I would give it about six weeks. At that point, I think you'll be able to sit back and kind of go, with the home, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.